Hello and hi, welcome to Yedidiyashofet.net and welcome to Halacha of the Week, week number 6. Today's question, which was addressed to the Chief Rabbi of Israel, is Rabbi, I have a uh, book, I have a Sidur, I have a Chumash, a prayer book, a Torah book, and on the side of the book, of the pages, I have words written. And I'm asking you, may I open up this book on Shabbat? So the question that he asks is that if somebody has a book, and on that book on the side are letters, and when you open up the book, you basically break apart the letters. So how is this a question? The question is that a person, we understand how on Shabbat one is not able to write on Shabbat, how he, how he, he is creating new letters, he is creating new words, one cannot do such a thing. The same way is a person cannot erase on Shabbat. So over here you're breaking up letters, you're breaking up words. So is it comparable to the same thing? And it also goes out to branch. What about soda bottles? Which at the top of soda bottles, if you look, the cap and the little ring, it has the date of expiration or the date in which that it was made. So when you want to open up this soda bottle, what happens is it breaks apart those letters. So in any way, is this considered as a melacha, as one of the ways in which that you, you shouldn't do things on Shabbat, such as writing or such as mochek, such as erasing? Is it under one of these categories? So he answers and he says that normally you should try to use other items. However, if you don't have another tzidur, a Torah book, other soda or any other items, you may use it. Why? Because when you open it and you close it, you technically have not complete. You have not destroyed anything or created anything. In the terminology, it's actually considered as something which is ta- which is taken apart and brought back in. Meaning, at any time, it could revert back to its original shape. So it's nothing that is permanent. And for instance, you'll see in a lot of synagogues, they have the curtains for the hechal. Those curtains have letters that are written across, they try not to make a whole word because when you put it together you create a word. Some people don't are, are still a little bit more stringent. However, they do take it apart and it takes the picture apart and it puts the picture back together. The reason why that is allowed is because it reverts back to its original position and that is what the rabbi was trying to tell us. Have a beautiful day.